Hello everyone, it's me Pratima and today I am excited to share my full experience with the Motorola Edge 40. Over the past one month, my team and I have thoroughly tested this device and I must say it has left a very good impression on us. The overall package that Motorola provides here for just 30,000 rupees or some $400 is just crazy. But there are still a few things that I think Motorola needs to work on. So let's quickly get into all of those in our long-term review. So as opposed to every other reviewer out there, I got this blue color variant with a plastic bag for myself. Personally, I wanted to get the green vegan leather one, but that wasn't available when I bought this phone from Flipkart. And not just that, even today, Moto H 40's availability is a big question mark. So I really hope that Motorola finds a fix for this stock issue. Nonetheless, Motorola has done a great job on the design side of things. This is one of the most comfortable and sleek phones that I've used this year. You know, I had been reviewing the OnePlus Nord 3, the Realme 11 Pro series while I started testing this phone and the level of comfort I have felt using the Edge 4D is unmatched, seriously. But of course, with such a slim and light form factor, Motorola had to compromise on things like the battery size. As a result, the max screen on time I got with this phone on my regular kind of usage was just about 5 hours or so. And secondly, because there is not enough space for the heat to spread inside this sleek chassis, even doing casual activities like charging or editing short videos on Instagram would warm this device up. I wouldn't exactly say that this phone has heating issues or anything but I'm just letting you know that it can be a little warm sometimes just sharing my experience. I have also been impressed with this device in the display department. The P OLED panel on the Motorola Edge 4D is just gorgeous. That's not only because it's bright and has good colors and contrast, but just look at those thin, symmetrically fine bezels, the subtle curves and the tiny bunch hole. You will surely understand what I am trying to say. Plus, I love how this screen is so responsive and the 144Hz refresh rate is just cherry on top. To save battery, I did not use the phone at 144Hz refresh rate most of the time. Rather, I use the auto switch option that switches between 60, 90 and 120 hertz depending on the content displayed on the screen. And I have to tell you, the phone switches between the said refresh rates very swiftly which goes on to show that Motorola has done the optimization quite well on the Edge 40. On a different note, a lot of reviewers have complained about the Edge 40 screen getting scratched pretty easily, but my unit has not had that issue at all. I actually am extremely cautious when it comes to handling devices or this time maybe I've just been lucky but I don't even have a single scratch on the screen. However, if you are someone who's a bit carefree, I would definitely recommend you slap on a tempered glass, especially considering that its screen does not have any kind of Gorilla Glass protection at all. Moving on, the speakers on the Moto H40 are quite nice too. They can get loud without any significant distortion and they even have Dolby Atmos support, so the overall content consumption experience on this device has been terrific for me. The only thing that's quite average about its display is HDR video playback. It does not have HDR support on Netflix yet and even on YouTube, you can notice a lot of black crushing in dark scenes which does not look good. Alright, one of the things that made me stick to this phone for so long is the software. I have enjoyed the clean, almost talk Android experience on the Edge 40 a lot. Motorola's take on Android is quite refreshing too. They have included a handful of useful features like Ready4 that lets you link your phone to other screens and devices in case you want to use your phone on a bigger screen. And then there are tons of customization options as well, so all of those were quite refreshing. Plus, there are no unwanted apps, recommendations or suggestions. Nothing. Having said that, I think Motorola has to work on pushing updates timely on their devices. The company has promised a total of two OS and three years of security updates, but if you look at their past track records when it comes to updates, it's kind of disappointing. As of now, it also has a few minor issues like the UI becomes quite choppy when you use any app in picture-in-picture -picture mode and when you make a call, there's this significant delay when turning on speaker and so on. And not just that, I think the cameras on this device also require a few updates to perform well. One of the best examples of this has to be the way the Edge 40 renders human subjects. 
If you look closely at these pictures, you can see the lack of sharpness in them and even the skin tone looks quite dull. In most portrait shots I have taken from this phone, I almost look like a painting. That said, normal daytime shots look decent enough. Motorola has sort of a natural color processing that does not look overdone in any way and in most cases it works in its favor. But then again, overall its images are a strict 6 out of 10 for me and nothing more. Sharpness is something that I feel photos from the Edge 4D strictly lack, especially in images with grass and trees. And even in general, when you zoom into the images, I have wished them to have a little more detail than they do. Even the ultra wide angle images are nothing extra, they lack proper details and most times the dynamic range is a hit or a miss too. Likewise, the videos are just okay too. You don't have the option to shoot at 60fps at 4K resolution but you can go up to 4K 30fps from both the front and back cameras. I shot a ton of videos from this phone and found the quality of the videos even at 4K 30fps to be just average. The stabilization is okay but the quality does not look like it's 4K. There's a lot of over sharpening and you can notice some frame jitters as well. So I would say that the videos are decent for casual recordings but if you're considering this phone for vlogging and stuff, it's not a good idea. Performance wise, I did not have much of an issue with this device. The Diamond City 8020 was able to handle all of my regular tasks, multitasking and everything very well. I actually thought that this device would heat up a lot while doing heavy tasks, especially while gaming but that wasn't the case surprisingly. Casually playing something like Genshin Impact for 30 minutes did not heat up the device that much and the FPS stability even in high settings was not bad. I did notice a few lags here and there so I switched to medium settings which made for a smoother lag free gaming experience. Games like PUBG and Call of Duty ran extremely well at 60 FPS with no frame drops whatsoever and the phone can even run titles like Mech Arena at higher FPS which is nice to see. So if you're not not a serious gamer, the performance levels it delivers are quite satisfactory. But you have to know that while gaming or shooting videos from this phone, its battery drains quite fast. Luckily, Motorola ships a 68 watt charger inside the box that takes it from 0 to 100% quite fast in around like 50 minutes to be exact. Okay, to conclude, the Moto Edge 40, as I said in the beginning, is a well-rounded device for 30,000 rupees in India. There are a lot of things to love about this phone, including its design, display, near stock Android experience, its speakers, haptics, and the performance is also excellent for the price it asks. But in the end, it all comes down to your preference. If you absolutely need good cameras or if software updates is something that you value a lot, then the Motorola Edge 40 is not your your best bet. You might be better off adding some money and getting something like the OnePlus Nord 3 or the Galaxy A54 instead. So everybody, that is all for my long-term experience with the Motorola Edge 40. Uh, just a quick information, this unit was purchased by us and no editorial inputs have been made by Motorola or anybody else. Saying this, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon.